Hey guys, so we're at the uh, Nungui Backpackers apartment. I'm staying in a hostel right now. This is the hostel dorm. This one is my bed. This costs 30,000 Tanzanian shillings. There is a shower, one shared shower. Pretty basic stuff. You get an amazing breakfast. I'll show you guys a little bit of footage from that. Okay. right. Okay, so this is the breakfast that you get in the backpackers. Crazy man cooks a crazy big breakfast. <laughs> but today I'm going to get on my Boda Boda and drive to the beach and then walk down the beach. Hello. This is the hostel. Oh. Okay, and this is my Boda Boda. Also, the guy that runs this place crazy takes people to the beach. So that's everyone about to leave. I'm gonna go on my Boda Boda, meet them there, see what funny things happen on the beach in Nungui. <laughs> you wanna be in a vlog? Oh shit. <laughs> shit. I don't even know how to drive this thing. What a machine. <laughs> what a machine. <laughs> right. <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> He's not really good at that, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, All right, yeah. see you in the beach. See ya. See you later. Let's go. Yeah, so if you just go down here, then you it takes you to Paji right away. Hold on, I'm gonna change gears. Yeah, if you just head straight down this road, it takes you to Nungui. This is Kendwa. We go to Nungui, and then you get to a roundabout. And then you can uh, head to the beach, just off this, this road. That's a nice little, uh, nice little vegetarian restaurant that I went to last night for food with some friends. is Nungui roundabout, a little football pitch here, a little football pitch that all the kids play in the evening around here. Look at that. The roads are crazy. So we're going to walk all the way to uh, from Nungui along the beach to Kendwa Rocks.
Not easy doing this one handed. See the villager at the back of all the resorts is particularly luxurious and the roads are not uh, particularly well maintained and then you get to the beachfront and there's all these beautiful resorts. Humble. So it would be better if Nungui some of the restaurants or even some of the resorts would like help develop the villages at the back. It would be better for oh. it'd be better for the tourists because they'd have a better place way to travel in and it would be better for the people living here. Just beside, behind the, just behind the beach, there's this big rubbish dump. So it's, what the fuck is going on? Okay, I've just parked up. Mambo, uh -huh. I've just parked up. I'm gonna walk onto the beach. This is beautiful Nungwe Beach. Some kids in the distance going on a school trip. Many guys play football here in the evenings as the sun's coming down, it's very beautiful. Mambo. Asante. Ah, this is the double tree. Looks out onto the beach. It's like a big wall here. There's actually uh, guards that patrol this uh, this wall, so it's only residents or people that are staying in the hotel that can. Uh, they can come up here and sit on the beds. They actually collect a lot of the seaweed for the tortoises or the turtles. This is, uh, this is the Hilton Doubletree in there. 
quite a beautiful hotel. There's Fisherman's Grill, it's a nice restaurant. I've eaten there a few times. Mambo, Hello. how are you? Fine. Good. So, so yeah, this is uh, Nungui. This is a lot less kind of... Mambo, how are you guys? I think I stayed in this hotel last time I was here. Very nice. They do a good breakfast. But yeah, all of the resorts here are... Mambo, how are you? Yeah. Guy's trying to sell me cocaine. Huh? You have cocaine? Oh, yes. Okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, I don't want. Thank you. No, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's quite funny. They actually, uh, whenever any of the guys on the beach try and sell you something, they start with the dolphins. Then they move on to uh, marijuana. Then they say, do you want cocaine? And then if you're a guy, very occasionally they try and uh, link you up with uh, one of the prostitutes around here. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit of an experience walking down the beach and it accelerates so quickly. I thought you just wanted to sell me dolphin tours, but now you're trying to sell me cocaine and prostitutes. Very strange. Yes. So anyway, I, I was saying uh, there's a lot of uh, beautiful built-up resorts here, like this one. It's kind of a different vibe from Paje. It's kind of, uh, Paje is more of the travelers, young party people. It's a bit like, they call it the, the little Ibiza of Zanzibar because it's party vibe, everyone, uh, everyone goes out. There's like mad parties every night of the week. Even Mondays, uh, all the way through to Sunday, there's a different place, has a different party during the week. So this place is a bit more chilled, probably more uh, more for like couples, uh, on their honeymoon, that type of thing. Mambo, how are you? Fine. Good. Asante Sana. Yeah, so places like this do tours. Um, that you can go and book excursions. I think they do like scuba diving, they do snorkeling, they do they do dolphin tours. The dolphin tours are a bit weird because there's so many people that go out on these boats. And basically you have like 20 boats chasing a bunch of dolphins. And then as soon as they get you to dive in the water when they see the dolphins, but then as soon as you dive in the water, you can't see the dolphins because they all swim away. There's uh, basically like 20 boats chasing these poor dolphins around, so not exactly not exactly the nicest experience for anyone involved. Um, but yeah, that is the dolphin tour. Anyway, I'm sure the snorkeling is pretty good. They've also got this re this big kind of water mound somewhere out in the sea that you can go to and you can sit in the middle of the sea on some sand or on some sand. It's kind of like a sand island, but it's very kind of... Mambo, how are you? Asante. Asante. What do you guys do? Oh, tell me what you do. I'm not going to book, but... I do the snorkeling, spice tours. Spice tours as well. Oh, down in Stone Town? Yeah, yeah, Stone Town Airport. Do you guys do the dolphins also? Yes. All that stuff. And we also we have the room there. Oh. Yeah, for accommodation. Oh, okay, okay. What's this place called? For the hotel. Yeah, what's the hotel called? It's Faridu Beach Bangalore. Sawa. Asante. See you. All right, so... Yeah, most of the hotels do excursions as well. These guys have got their little boat. It's a combination of, like, tourist things, but also people do, like... Uh, a lot of fishing here. You can see the fishing nets. Mambo. Okay. So. So yeah, tonight is the full moon party. See, they've got these resorts all the way along here. 
Anyway, tonight's the full moon party, so a guy called Diamond Platinums is, uh, is singing. So we'll walk along to Kendwa uh, and we will see them setting up. It's a nice place at Kendwa Rocks. But yeah, it's island paradise here on the beach. But like I said, it's a bit strange because in the village we just saw totally different vibe. So I just wish some of these places would help to develop the uh, help to develop the village. But yeah, people are going out on their boats, doing tours. I'm gonna walk a little bit through the village, show you guys. Uh, I think they have some shops, tourist area here. yoga classes same kind of stuff you get sold down in Paget I bought one of these shirts the other day Bumbo how are you? Fine. good are oh, you doing massage? massage? Oh, Sante Sana These guys are doing shisha pipes. This place is where the party was last night on a Friday. Oh. How are you doing? That's Auntie Sana. Nice little spot here. That's Auntie Sana. I'm good. So are you coming today, yeah? To the what? The full moon party? No, full moon, no full moon party. Tell me. The sunset cruise at four o'clock. No, I'm not going. Because Thank you. My name is Captain Freedom. Captain Freedom. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Captain Freedom. All right. So yeah, they have like sunset cruises when they have the when they have the full moon party going on. There's a bunch of Maasai. These are the guys from the hostel. <laughs> How are you? Good, I'll be back. Okay. See you guys in a bit. We all just had breakfast together. This place is called Mamma Mia. They do nice uh, seafood. I had some ice cream in there the other day. Very delicious. Let's walk up here. Also, sometimes you can't get between Kendwa and uh, Nungui because the tide comes in too much. I've actually not seen this restaurant yet. Looks nice. But yeah, you can come just off the beach a little bit and uh, get to some restaurants and things behind the, behind the resorts. Mambo, how are you doing? Good. No parking. Some Maasai. Looks like you can do your uh, diving and stuff here. Mambo. Mambo, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Yeah. Oh, can I go around that way? No. Okay. So there's another little market down here. Aroma restaurant. Gamble. What is this stick for? This. Is this for beating things or is it for throwing yes. or is it for walking? Yes, mm -hmm. because this one we have like, like we, cool. we do business. Okay, we can, we can move this again. Yeah. It's for what? This one we have, but like we, This is a fake one. We, we, we live in, we, we live in, we live in, we was born in the bush. Uh -huh. And the many animals. Uh -huh. And then we stay for stick because we do yeah. business for cows. Oh, so you need to whack the cows with it. Yes, and then with this we take cows maybe, maybe on the bush, like for like for eat. Uh -huh. Yes, this especially for kill snake. Oh, killing snake like. as well. Yes. Oh. Sure. Do you eat the snake in the bush? Oh, we are we eat snake. Yeah. We kill, but we do eat. You don't eat. Yeah. Not tasty. No, no. I heard I heard snakes are for herbal remedies. Well, you think maybe snake maybe for medicine? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Huh? Snake is very dangerous. Really. 
you are. Somebody, I saw in Stone Town, somebody had snake skin. Where? Uh, Stone Town. Mm -hmm. The guy had like a garden snake, like garden animal. Yeah, he was making no, like a big python yes. thing, and he was making like uh, remedies, cures, medicine. Oh, maybe someone. A witch we, doctor. Well, we are Masai. We are eat snake. He was doing juju. Juju. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're doing Mokotan. Asante. Yes. Right, I'm going to continue my travels. Oh. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. So then we can walk down here. There's some uh, chat about Um Yeah, there's a bit of an unfortunate thing that happens in uh tourist places in East Africa. I don't know about other places, but where I've been anyway, where quite often you have like uh, people from European countries that have quite a bit of money that come here. And you might get like older women, uh, older white women that end up like hooking up with Maasai boys or you'll be in a club and then all the local girls end up coming down and twerking on all the all the old white mzungus or white guys that have come here so it's just the just the reality I mean I'm not saying it's good or bad or whatever but Hotel Z yeah it's just the reality of uh, places in East Africa I'm not sure well there's some certain bars that you would go to in Kampala that were like that certain places in Especially Mombasa, it was quite notorious for uh, that t sort of tourism. But um, Maasai guys also, uh, oh, I think there's a locked gate here. Okay, I'm gonna finish this back on the beach. <laughs> Maasai guys will like sell their little uh, bracelets and that type of thing to uh, to tourists. Mambo, how are you guys? Um, yeah, so there's quite a bit of that. Some food. Little shop. Nice restaurant, the corner. Actually, a lot of this has been developed since I was uh, here during the during the pandemic. There wasn't as much uh, tourism stuff going on, as much stuff being sold. When I was here, there was mainly Russian people in Nungwi. I actually couldn't speak to any of the Russians. Okay, I'm not sure why, but for some reason, I'm not able to record for a long time. Maybe I've run out of battery or memory. I'm not really sure. But I'll try this one more time and then I'm gonna have to go somewhere to sort this problem out. But yeah, I was saying that there's a, there seems to be like conflict between uh, Maasai people and Swahili people. I don't know what this conflict is uh, about, but Seems to be like some prejudice from Swahili people towards Maasai people. Hold on, I'm gonna check the back. No. It's still filming. Yeah, it's still filming. So yeah, there seems to be some form of conflict where people, uh, like I heard a story about a bunch of Swahili people finding, seeing a Maasai driving a Boda Boda and they didn't like it. They were all crowding around telling them not to drive. So I don't know what that's about, but definitely a thing. Come on, Mo. Um, so yeah, this is a nice luxurious resort up here. But this is what I was talking about when I said that you can't always walk this route because when this tide comes in, it goes, uh, it goes up too far and then you would have to swim and it's kind of dangerous around this rock or these rocks. I think I can make it this time. 
but I'm not sure I might have to take a boat back. But yep, again, this is a luxury uh, resort up here. You can't actually access it from the beach. There's security on all of the resorts. They don't like people just entering. Mambo, how are you? Yeah, so you just see casual Maasai's walking down the beach, wearing the full regalia. Also, it's good for like tourists. They like to see that sort of thing. Couple of guys just kayaking. But yeah, another thing that's quite uh, noticeable is obviously tourists are coming to Zanzibar and uh, there's a lot of beaches here. So, hello. There's a lot of uh, beaches here, so people are like wearing uh, uh, wearing bikinis and things and uh, Mambo, how are you? Wearing bikinis and things and uh, but it's actually a bit of a difficult thing for this island because many people are very uh, uh, traditional Muslim that all kind of dates back from the co on the coast here all dates back to like the Arab slave trade times. So Muslim is the predominant religion. And then you have a lot of people coming here wearing short clothes, short dresses, tourists wearing, uh, you know, stuff. So there's a little bit of a conflict between the kind of tourists coming here, um, you know, wearing uh, things that wouldn't be traditional. And then you have like the local people living in the village. Obviously they're bringing like money and stuff. So. I think people just accept it, but at the same time, it's kind of people try to be a little res bit respectful. Look at this beautiful resort. People just lounging up there. Um, yeah. Zanzibar map. Lambo, how are you? Asante Sana. What do you do? Dolphin, snorkeling, tambatu. Yeah. Oh, reef snorkeling. We organize everything. Private boats, fishing. Yeah, fishing and everything. Everything. Toy toys, fishing, cruise with local boats. Amazing. And if anyone wants to contact these guys, Sawa. Okay, Sante. We have a little Maasai market here as well. Take a look in there. So this is just beside Royal Zanzibar Beach Resort. Mambo. Hello. Hello. What? Safi. Oh, so this is where all the Maasai sell their stuff. Asante Sana. Oh, Safi. <laughs> so, yeah, little trinkets. Mambo. Ah, Asante. Oh, nice. Let me, I'm going to look. Okay, Asante Sana. Okay. Oh. Mambo, how, how are you? I'm good. Ah, good. Nice. Let's see. I'm not uh, in the market for paintings, but you have very beautiful paintings. Yeah. Asante. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't think that this market was here when I was last here. But uh, yeah, they're starting to develop a little Maasai market here. They do money exchange. Looks like some things are being built. Love it. Oh, some beautiful paintings. That one's nice. 
Okay, so that's the Maasai market. Mambo! Safi! Asante! Oh. There's a... Uh, there's uh, Freddie Mercury. He was born in Zanzibar. So there's a Freddie Mercury museum in Stone Town. People can go and see. The volleyball court there. That's me back on the beach after my little excursion at the Maasai Market. This is Royal Zanzibar Beach Resort. I'm gonna try to get round this cave. Looks like the water has come up already, but I should be able to get round if I take my shoes off. Okay, this nice couple just told me that it comes up to my chest. So let's see. I've taken my top off. I put all my money. Oh. Okay, we'll see. Woohoo! As long as I don't lose my money, my key for the Boda Boda, I think it should be alright. Hello, how are you? I'm <laughs> good. Okay. It comes up to there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, comes up to my neck apparently. Okay. Looks like I can walk on the stone, but it gets. Ah. Uh. Okay. This looks like a better path. How did I get myself into these situations? A guy that I met in Zanz in Paje had a sea urchin go right into his foot and he got like oh he got so many little spikes in, maybe like 50. And we spent all evening one night trying to get the sea urchins out of his feet. Oh, it was so bad. Actually, I've got a tiny bit of footage from it. Doctor in action. Oh yeah, you're a doctor. Did you see him? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, not fun. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me right now. Oh shit, I'm getting my top soaking. I'm on my tiptoes. Oh shit, is that... Oh, I see some sort of weird creature. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. I actually think I just saw a sea urchin. But I had to dodge it. This is not... This is not easy. Okay, I think I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, it's very beautiful that I've got nothing to complain about, but I will if I get caught by a sea urchin. Now I've got that stuck in my head. Some more artwork. A lot of uh, beautiful art. Maasai pictures are nice. They also do magnets like that. It's clear they've just found what 
the tourists like though and then they replicate that many paintings yes. Bambo how are you? I'm doing good I'm okay just now I'm not in the market Fasante Sana Ah, amazing. Mambo. Asante sana. Very nzuri sana. Got a little art gallery just at this part of the beach, which is beautiful. Sculptures, Mambo, Asante, Asante. Okay, so this is another little market area. Mambo, So it looks like the full moon party is going to be today on a very cloudy day in Zanzibar. Yesterday was actually a beautiful day. Uh, very sunny. Hopefully, hopefully the clouds clear up over the next few hours so we'll actually be able to see the full moon when it's the full moon party. Mambo. But for now, we'll just be celebrating it without actually seeing it. They do these bags here as well. Some of these things. Okay, got. All right. Okay, guys. Okay. The king guys at uh, Scuba Caribbean. Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Hakuna Matata. These guys kindly let me use their charger, so thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. If you guys are in Zanzibar, you should go do some scuba diving and whatever else you guys do. You do the jet skis too. Love it. Okay. So we will continue our journey to Kendwa Rocks. Asante Sana. Thanks. Yes. So many of these uh, resorts along here are also. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they're also all-inclusive, which means that you can't even go in and buy something. Actually, I've already got, I've got water all over me because I went swimming there. So, but it looks like I'm going to have to walk along the beach again in the water along this area because the tide is too high, too high. Yes, but there's many uh, all-inclusive spots along uh, this route to Kendwa, which means you can't even go off the beach to, to try and buy something. I went in somewhere, tried to buy a coffee, and they said it was all-inclusive, so the guy kindly gave me one for free. Got a free coffee, which was nice. All right. How high does it get? There? Okay, that's cool. Thanks. It's okay. Okay. Good times. Jumbo. Sorry. Hello. How are you, Safi? Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay. We made it to the other side. 
Great. Okay, so we're almost at Kendwa. I'm trying to figure out how much it, it'll cost to get back there. Maybe like 10,000? I don't know. I don't know what Boda Boda would be, but to be honest, the roads are crazy in the village, so it might just be quicker to get a boat all the way back. You good? Yeah. Cool. Zuri. Huh? Me, play football. Very bad. And you? The best. Are we walking together now? <laughs> you want to hold it? You're not going to run away, are you? <laughs> there you go. Get some water. All right. Zuri. No, no, no. <laughs> See you later. Cheers. Have a good day. Have a good day. This place is called Bahari Grill and Bar. Mambo. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. Ah, so this is Kendwa Sunrise Resort. I actually came in through here yesterday, so I'm going to show you a little bit of footage walking through the palm trees. Tomorrow there is going to be a full moon party at Kendwa Rocks and Diamond Platinums is playing. So in this part of the video I'm just going to explore, show you guys some of the places in Kendwa and in Nungui which is in the north of Zanzibar. And then tomorrow we're going to enjoy the full moon party. So these are some palm trees, very beautiful. Yeah, so that was yesterday. And then, yeah, I'm gonna head towards Kendwa Rocks and see what's happening today. I can already hear the music. Everyone's getting ready for the party. I think it's something like $16 to go. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to Kenwa Rocks. Have a good day. Ah, oh, they've got the stage set up now. Hello. And all the people are lining up. Looks like it's gonna be good. A lot bigger than it was last time I was here during the pandemic. Okay, so I've charged my phone. I've met a new friend. This is Happy. <laughs> I've told Happy I would give her a left home to Nungui. 
I'm going to go and get a boat back to Nungwe now. Happy kindly let me sit beside her so that I could charge my phone. This is Kendra Rocks. I'm going to come back here for the party, but I'll show you the boat trip. Are you going to speak to them or shall I? What? You want to speak to them? Yeah. You're going to negotiate for me? I want you to speak for them. Okay, 10,000 I tell him for two people. Yeah. You tell him 10,000 for two people. And tell him I don't want Mzungu price. Okay. Kaka! <laughs> No Mazungo prices! <laughs> what did you say? Fire! She got me! No way! She got me! Ten! Yeah, 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 yeah. I paid that before. No, 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 no. no. I paid 10,000 before. Double tree. Dear double tree. But I'm not staying at double tree. I stay in a hostel. I have no money. <laughs> Me, I'm very poor. Not the usual Mzungu. No, 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 no. I paid 10 to go to Double Tree before for two people. So I'm not paying more than 10. No. I paid 10 to. Uh, I paid 10 to Double Tree. Okay, I'll do 15 and that's maximum. 15, we go. Are you doing 15? Yeah. Okay, let's go. 50. Okay, go. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 15. 15 is fine. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Happy. Oh. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Sama. Asante Sana. You can take the video. I'm taking the video of you. <laughs> Me and Happy are going to go for a very happy journey back to Nungui. <laughs> right. This is taking a boat. Much better than walking, yeah? <laughs> Mimi, uh, sorry, Gina Langu ni Philip. Gina Lako ni Nani. What? Where you come from? Ah, Nina took um, Scotty. Scotland. Scotland. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is my Swahili. I'm practicing. You are Swahili? Ah, you are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Akuna Noma! Akuna Shida! Sawa, Sawa! You're the boss! Do we need to drop you off first? Yeah. Where do we drop you? What? 
Where are you going? I'm going to Nungwe. Where? Where in Nungwe? We are Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. Ah, I know Manchester. Fair enough. Is this a, is it good? It looks empty. There's no one inside. This time is not not full. Oh, okay. Sawa. The evening time is a good time for to go to. Oh, relax. Yeah. Chakula and Zuri. Chakula and Zuri. We're back at the Royal Zanzibar Resort. This is where I walked around. Now the sea is too close. You can't walk anymore. Coco Bello. It's a good party yeah. on Thursday night. My Coco friend. Bello party. My friend, ah. uh, we can't leave you to Dabo uh, Tree because for now this time is, is high tide. Okay. So we will leave you here. Thank you. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. <laughs> oh, there. Happy rides for free. Ah. Uh, wow. Lucky girl. You should be called lucky, not happy. Okay. <laughs> We're not swimming though. We're not swimming though. Oh, shit. We're supposed to wait. You're supposed to wait. Kidogo, kidogo. Pull it, pull it. Okay. Ah, it's Okay. One by one, one by one. One by one, one by one. Okay. Okay, okay, Shall okay. Okay, okay. Shall I come? Okay, okay. Faster. Asante, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow! Good job, Happy! <laughs> How's it going? You guys good? Bye, Happy! Bye, Happy! So, that was nice. Now I'm going to go back to Double Tree and get my Boda Boda and drive back to the hostel to get changed before going to a place called Istanbul for happy hour. I have a funny story for you guys. The Chinese guy that we just passed that was taking a photo of a girl I was actually staying in my hostel last night and or two nights ago but they checked out on the same day and I woke up in the morning and I went for breakfast and he didn't speak English so I said hello he said I don't know English I said okay no problem and then I went on with my business I was just messaging some friends catching up and then he hands me his phone and he had Google Translate on the phone and <laughs> it said oh, it said on the phone uh, you are handsome <laughs> you are handsome where are you from and uh, so so I just responded and said I'm from Scotland in, tra in Google Translate and <laughs> then he asked for my Instagram and that was the only interaction that we had but it was quite funny 
I'm not sure whether it was like a cultural thing or whether he actually fancied me and he was trying to chat me up. But, whoop -a. But, very funny. Anyway, it was funny seeing him again because they checked out of our hostel quite quickly. Anyway, I'm gonna get smashed by these waves. I don't understand why the guys in the boat only wanted to take me as far as Istanbul, which is one of the restaurants here. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get smashed. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like, I feel like it's just a matter of time before a big wave smashes me here. It'd be a great thumbnail if that happens anyway. Uh, humble. All right. So I gave someone my helmet to look after and my bike was parked somewhere, so. We'll see. Hey, Jumbo, welcome. Oh, cool. What are you guys playing? Yeah, uh, we play checkers. Yeah. Oh, cool. Who's winning? You good? Yeah. I'm not good. Why? Because I'm not very good at this game. Ah, wow. But I am good. In Zurisana. Are you okay? Asante. Her body is a mchana. Ah, good. Salama. Huh? Now Gioni. Gioni. Oh, wow. Okay. Evening. Mchana afternoon. Okay. Hey, Mambo. I left my helmet. What are you doing? Asante Sana. Oh, I'm not a woman. Cheers. Asante. Mambo. Are you playing? All right. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Haram. Let's go. Okay, no problem. So you have to knock these things in. But it's different color, you see? Okay. And you're this one? Yeah, I have only one. And you have to hit it off the side. But he didn't hit it off the side. Oh, I know, you, you have to hit from behind there. You can't go backwards. <laughs> oh shit. Ah. Okay. I'm silver. Okay. So I just hit these things in the middle. Like that. Okay. There's no penalty for missing. I'm gonna show you guys some of the some of the full moon party.
Usitake ushauri wa mpenzi wako kwa shoga. Asipo mapenzi baga asi ila nanganania nimechana na yule kwa